Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my video. Today's video will be slightly different because I'm not going to be in the video myself. I'm going to show you what I did with the uh, Bambula P2S with a lot of AliExpress stuff which I bought online. So I have been testing a lot of hot ends. Um, the Bamboo Lab um, nozzle, which came with the machine, the 0.4mm uh, uh, nozzle, that one failed on me the second day. So I decided to go with uh, some other uh, nozzle that I have. The 0 0.2, um, fantastic nozzle, but it's just way too slow. And you can see, like, you know, the detail is really, really good. Um, 0.2mm Bamboo Lab uh, nozzle and printed at 0.1mm a layer height and this takes four hours and seven minutes the print is really really good but it takes way too long it's okay if you have plenty of time so then i got the aliexpress um, nozzle so this one here have a exchangeable tip now to change the nozzle is very, very easy with the p2s there's no wire or anything like that all you do is take the um, silicon sock off open the grip and then just pinch it out so this is the bamboo lab standard I'm going to put it with the print right here and then I'm going to insert this now this is new uh, this is new I haven't used this before so it goes in exactly the same place and you can see the size is it, kind of the same as well so it goes in push the claps back push it down Put the sock back on now the computer will the computer now the printer will tell you if you forgot to put this on um, um, because i did it once and i'm going to use the same uh, silicon sock uh, with the one which is bamboo lab because the one came with the um, nozzle it doesn't fit okay so the setting on bamboo lab i'm not going to change anything i'm going to use exactly the same as the 0 0.2 uh, from the factory so at exactly the four hour seven minutes uh, we have another print and this is from oh came off the plate already kind of a very similar um, result almost identical apart from a bit of stringing I'm not sure why I have a feeling that you know all those they look identical this one might need a little higher temperature that's what I I, I think but um, not not too sure because uh, I haven't used them a, a lot. So the 0 0.4, um, I got this off uh, AliExpress with the removable tip and have been printing a lot of carbon fiber PGET uh, filament. Uh, I've gone through about two or three kilos already and it's still going strong, but you can see there's a lot of build up on the nozzle. But yeah, so far um, the result is okay. I, I believe um, Bamboo Lab nozzle may be better if it works but uh, mine failed i tried to salvage it by heating it to uh, 300 degrees and a cold pool and the hot hot um, flushes and um, it still doesn't work so yeah doesn't work and then i move on to the aliexpress uh, fast flow and um, this one here um, looks again identical but without a barcode on top and it has a uh, exchangeable tip so this is hardened uh, steel as well. So um, at first using the default setting, um, it didn't really um, did as well as the uh, standard flow. And you can see the tolerance test here, the 0 0.1 gap didn't come out. But apart from that, everything still print pretty well. And then I did a bit of uh, fine tuning and um, my lack of skill means that I can't really adjust the speed from the Bamboo Lab Studio slicer. But what I did manage to do is change the flow rate um, on the system. And then I use a spot mode and ludicrous mode. So this one here, um, the same 0 0.4 millimeter, but this is AliExpress fast flow. And that's the standard flow. As you can see, the ah go closer. As you can see, the results are pretty similar in terms of um, quality, but this one 
took only 30 minutes because it's 166 percent with the ludicrous mode so the nozzle managed to keep up even at like 166 percent which is kind of um, what it's supposed to do i guess at a high flow i mean if you have the skill to um, do in the slicer i'm sure you can do all the setting adjustment without going to the ludicrous mode which is just basically ramp up the speed of all the settings all right so this is the first big print for my 0.4 hot end from aliexpress and this is printing with the ludicrous mode yep so this is printing with ludicrous mode and this is the pgt uh, carbon fiber so they are really hard to print but if you keep the moisture level low so mine is at 11 percent then um, yeah it should print okay don't want to open the door yet because i don't want to jinx it but this is the last few layer just waiting for it to finish so i could open the door so i believe that um, the the file itself is supposed to be like 10 hours or something like that but with the ludicrous mode i managed to cut down for about two hours from it so i'm really pleased with the result Look at that. Wow, big, big plastic smell coming out. Let me close it. So having the, having the moisture level at about 10% or 11% is really, really good. So I'm really pleased with, uh, so I'm really pleased with the silica gel thing working in there. But yeah, let's, let's take it out. Brave the smell. <coughs> Ah, hot, hot plate. Woo! Look at that. Now, I won't tell you what this is, but uh, this is uh, free from Micro World. Amazing what a uh, seven pound nozzle can do, right? I mean, the, the high flow hot end from um, Bamboo Lab is about 44 quid, 44 pounds. So, if you can do the same with six pounds, I don't know why anyone wouldn't but saying that i know there's a lot of fanboy out there if you can afford it and if you're making money out of it why not but for me i want to save every penny so yeah this is what i'm uh, doing um so uh, in terms of difference right so this is 0 0.4 at i think is 0 0.2 layer height i will put i will put the setting on the description or on the screen but um yeah i really love carbon fiber pget uh, filament i mean i can even go down a bit to uh, 0 0.18 but uh, this is not going to be a close-up product um this is 0 0.18 but with a 0 0.6 nozzle again the same material carbon fiber this this stuff is really really tough I think the I think the PEGT is already tough, but with a little bit of carbon fiber built in, even tougher. And then come up to this one, which is interesting. So this one is the 0 0.6 millimeter fast flow. Again, changeable tip. And this one from AliExpress. I'll put the link in the descriptions. And then you can um, uh, have a look. So this one here, it looks really ugly, but that is because of the layer height of uh, 0 0.3 and also because of the big nozzle. But it did print. It did complete all the tests, but obviously without all the details. But with the same nozzle, and if you print at a layer height of 0 0.18, then you can have a very good result with the carbon fiber filament. So this is actually PGET, and those are actually normal PLA. And this one here printed in four hours. Extendable, retractable. So yeah, um, I let you guys decide how good or how bad the nozzles are from uh, AliExpress, but they do print. That's the main thing. There's a couple of other things that I'm sure you guys know already, but um, my filament is really dry because I put a lot of silica gel um, in my AMS2 and usually they sit at about 10 or 12% uh, humidity 
So um, yeah, I don't usually use it to dry anything. I just um, put the filament in and they stay dry. And for filament that I'm not using, I don't expose them to air. I use this kind of a vacuum bag to make sure there's no moisture in there. So back in the days, a couple of years ago, I have been using a lot of this uh, hydrometer to measure the room um, humidity. So this room here is always at about 40 to 50 percent because this is kind of in the garden. And um, what I find is that the battery always run out and you have to buy the replacement uh, lithium battery. So this one here I got from AliExpress for about a pound more than the usual round ones. And um, this one, I took out the battery just to show you guys. So there's no battery in there at the moment, but it still works because it worked by sunlight. So that little solar panel is powering the device at the moment. You can leave the battery inside as a backup. It does, it does come with the battery. So whenever there is light, it will help to um, power the device when there's no light. So you can see when I cover it, it kind of fade out. And then when I remove our hand and it comes back in. So I find, I find this one really, really useful. So just to keep an eye out on the filament uh, moisture level, for example, this one here, I keep all my silica gel. Um, the loose one is in the sock and you can see a uh, nice 10% inside the top. So this is how I manage to get all my filament dry. And another thing I always um, have near my printer is a um, air quality monitor. If you haven't seen my previous video, um, they do work. They do show a, a high pollution rate inside the machine. And outside the machine is not that bad, but I do have a lot of uh, air filter around my uh, unit. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Is it worth the money with AliExpress or are they not very useful? If it is a standard uh, nozzle, I will go for Bamboo Lab any day. They're not that expensive. I think they're about like, you know, maybe 15 pounds or something like that. Yeah, if the tip worn out, you just buy another one. But when it comes to a fast flow nozzle, they are very expensive from Bamboo Lab. And, um, and the other thing is I don't find them that useful in terms of reducing your print time. If you have a print farm and every uh, hour counts, then I understand that might be very useful. But for a um, light user, um, I, don't, I don't know. I increase the flow rate and then I manage to use sport mode. But I think you can have a similar gain by uh, increasing the speed and um, just having a more efficient model and save you the hassle of having to deal with uh, flow rate and stuff like that. But just that, that's just my two piece. Uh, leave it in the comment section and let me know um, what you want to see in terms of uh, testing. So there are a couple of other AliExpress things that I want to test out, which is like a texture plate and also the uh, Clio grip. So this one you, you can use like, you know, colder temperature instead of the normal uh, hot temperature. So this one is to, to be tested. I hope to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye. There's no turning back Two kids by his side A family so tight A loving wife Who's his beacon of light In a world so fierce He's carving his place